diagram shows two identical squares, find the size of angle X. Now, with a square, you need to appreciate all the angles are 90 degrees. I'm also appreciate around here, yeah? Because this is where the focus is, isn't it? With regards to angle X, okay? So that's 90 there. This is also 90. And do you know what? There is a way of working out what this angle is as well, okay? Now it's not gonna be the same as this, right? But I need you to appreciate what type of triangle we've got here, okay? It's in fact an isosceles triangle. Okay, now you might not see that to begin with. You might think, well, how, how do you know that's an isosceles triangle? It's not drawn to scale. What I do know is, is that these are squares are identical. Okay, they're identical squares. They, in other words, they're the same, which means the side of that square will be the same as the side of this square, which means I can put marks there to show that they, those two sides are equal, which also means then this angle is 70 degrees. Okay. Because isosceles. Now, if those two are 70, I could do 70 add 70, which is 140. To work out what that angle is, then I know in a triangle, angles add up to 180. So those two, 140, take it away from 180, I'm left with 40. So this angle here is 40. Now notice I got all these angles here about a point. But we know angles about a point add up to. Well, they come to a circle, don't they? If you think about it, all these angles here make a circle. So add up to 360. So all I've got to do is, is add them, 90, add 90 and 40. So add the two right angles there, add the 40. So that comes to 220 when you work that out. And then, because the total around the circle is 360, just take this away from 360. And you get your angle X. So in other words, then angle X is going to be 140 degrees.